हेलो एवरीवन इंफॉर्मेशन बॉक्स टिकट लाइफस्टाइल ब्रिंग्स यू मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडो न्यूक्लियस वर्सेस एक्सो न्यूक्लियस इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड इलेवन डिफरेंसेस एंड एग्जांपल्स फर्स्ट डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन फॉर मोर वीडियोस we will first understand what is the meaning of endonucleus so its definition is a class of enzymes known as endonucleases cleaves the phosphodiester bond found within a polynucleotide chain few points that describes endonucleus are endonucleases have the ability to sever a chain's middle link These enzymes either cleave sequences in a non-specific or specific manner. Restriction endonucleases are nucleases that are unique to a given sequence. Different bacteria and archaea produce restriction endonucleases, each of which is unique to a certain location in the polynucleotide chain. The DNA ligase then combines the single-stranded ends known as sticky ends that were created by the cleaved sequences recombination is the process through which dna is created producing what is known as recombinant dna according to their mode of action the restriction endonucleases one of the most significant classes of endonucleases can split into three categories large multi subunit complexes known as type 1 endonucleases cleaved at random locations of roughly 1000 base pairs smaller subunits called type 2 endonucleases cleave the sequences when atp is not present complex type 3 endonucleases that cleave 25 base pair sequences are also available The endonuclease may cleave RNAs, single-stranded DNA, and even double-stranded DNA. These enzymes are essential for DNA repair because they enable accurate identification and cleavage of damaged DNA. This avoids pointless cleavage and further harms that could happen with other enzymes. It's possible for restriction endonucleases to take some time to take effect. The time needed for the individual site to be recognized may be the cause of this delay. Endonuclease create oligonucleotides by cleaving a DNA segment in the center. Some endonucleases have a defense role where they can stop some viruses from entering. Now let's head to exonucleases definition. Exonucleases are enzymes that sequentially break polynucleotide chains of DNA from either the 5' prime or 3' prime end. Few points about exonucleases that differentiate it from endonuclease. Exonuclease is a hydrolyzing enzyme that breaks the phosphodiester connection between the nucleotides. just like endonucleases does the multiprotein exosome which is made up of numerous exoribonucleases is one of the most significant pathways for rna breakdown in both archaea and eukaryotes exonucleases can also be discovered in the venom of lizards and snakes these toxins function by cleaving the dna that codes for vital proteins in the body exonucleases play a crucial role in replication because one of these enzymes work with rna polymerase 2 to break down the freshly generated rna primer on a new transcript which is subsequently replaced by dna nucleotides Exonuclease activity is also used to modify and check DNA for mistakes. A decapping 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease XRN1 and independent 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease and a 
poly A specific 3 prime to 5 prime exonucleases are the three types of exonucleases found in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. These exonucleases are all necessary for RNA synthesis, replication, and transcription. Exonucleases cleave the sequences from the ends, resulting in sticky ends, unlike endonucleases, which have a lag time. Exonucleases similarly cleave individual nucleosides from either end rather than producing oligonucleotides. Exonuclease lacks any protective features that would prevent the introduction of harmful bacteria. So we went through the definition of both endonucleases and exonucleases. Now let's learn about the key difference between these both. With the help of this table, you will understand the difference or the basis of comparison between these two. So the definition of endonuclease is, it is a class of enzymes known as endonucleases which cleaves the phosphodiester bond found within a polynucleotide chain. Whereas exonucleases are enzymes that sequently break polynucleotide chains of DNA from either 5' prime or 3' prime end. The basis for comparison between its cleavage is, in endonucleases, the center of the nucleotide sequence is where endonucleases cleave it. Whereas in exonucleases, a nucleotide sequence is cut by exonucleases starting at the end. The difference in lag period is, in endonucleases, there is a lag time preceding the activation of some endonucleases such as restriction endonucleases. Whereas in exonucleases, they don't have a lag time before they start working. The basis for comparison results in endonucleases results oligonucleotides that are produced when endonucleases cut DNA sequences, whereas DNA sequences are broken apart into individual nucleotides or nucleosides by exonucleases. The ends in endonucleases, the endonucleases can produce either blunt or sticky ends, whereas the ends of exonucleases are sticky. The difference between exonucleases and endonucleases specificity is there are certain endonucleases, also known as restriction endonucleases, that cleave particular places within our DNA sequence whereas exonuclease is usually non-specific. Defensive Properties Endonucleases are able to prevent harmful bacteria from entering the system, whereas exonucleases do not have any defense mechanisms. Its effect on circular DNA are A circular DNA can have particular location cleaved by a restriction endonucleases Whereas compared to linear DNA, exonucleases are less active towards circular DNA. The comparison of inhibition are Phosphothio 8 bonds must be present throughout the whole sequence in order to block endonucleases. Whereas in exonucleases, 5 conservative phosphothio 8 links can be added to a sequence to block exonucleases. Free ends. Endonucleases do not require free 3' prime or 5' prime ends to function, whereas exonucleases should have unrestricted access to ends. Some examples of endonucleases are ECO R1, BAMH1, deoxyribonuclease 1 are some examples of endonucleases, whereas Whereas snake venom, exonuclease 1, XRN1 are some examples of exonucleases. Kindly don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button for more videos. Kindly show your support to this channel. So let's dive into examples of endonucleases and let's get to know about them. 
At number 1 we have ECO R1. A restriction in the nucleus called ECO R1 breaks DNA helicases at particular location to produce pieces. This enzyme which is a component of restriction modification system was isolated from E. coli species. The G hash AADTC is broken down by ECO R1 where the hash donates the phosphodiester bond that the restriction enzyme is specifically designed to break down. It produces a sticky end with four nucleotides and a five prime overhang of AATT. ECO R1 is a homodimer with a 31 kilodalton subunit of a globular domain with alpha beta architecture. ECO R1 has been widely used for various molecular biology techniques including cloning, DNA screening and error removal. DNA cleavage produces sticky ends which boost the ligase enzyme activity and improves the efficiency of the ligation procedure. ECO R1 can perform non-specific cleavage when the medium salt and enzyme concentrations are low. Kindly don't forget to support my channel as I am doing so much of work into this channel. It will be very helpful if you subscribe to my channel. Last examples of exonucleases. Let's get to know the properties of XRN1. Humans have an exoribonucleus called XRN1 that is a 5' prime to 3' prime exonucleus. It hydrolyzes RNA from 5' prime to 3' prime and is encoded by XRN1 gene. Through direct interaction with the messenger RNA decapping protein, it contributes to the replication dependent degradation of histone messenger RNA. In both human and yeast cells, XRN1 is also engaged in a wide range of nuclear and cytoplasmic processes, including transcription, translation, recombination, and meiosis. Additionally, it starts the termination of DNA and RNA transcription to stop the overgrowth of nucleotide chains. This enzyme may have a function in the production and processing of bones since mutation in these enzymes are frequently linked to osteoscarcoma. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Kindly don't forget to support my channel so that I can make more videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.